Hi YouTubers, I thought today I would discuss the topic of hair, hair loss, and make a confession. Um, all the videos that you have seen prior to today and two other videos, I had on a wig. And why is this? Because I had a whole lot of hair loss that I wasn't crazy about. I didn't like the way I looked um, without a wig. And I just didn't feel like talking about it because I didn't want to take off the wig. And besides, I had worn a wig so much that a lot of my family, nearly all of my friends and all of my coworkers, none of them knew that I wore wigs. Um, I had wigs that were very close to what my hair actually used to be like before I started really losing it. Um, and I did it for various reasons because it's fun, looking different, um, mainly because I was lazy. And I wanted to be able to go to work, you know, real quick without worrying about it. Um, and the cost, too, because what I was spending on getting my hair done um, was, like, by the, you know, over a year's time, way more than a wig. I pay $190 to 210 for a wig, in case you're curious. Uh, buy them once a year for my birthday. Um, and it's just less expensive that way and more fun to change it up. So... The thing about weight loss um, surgery and hair loss, you've probably heard about it. I um, I think people have had varying um, uh, issues with it. For me, it was coming out in great clumps. It was doing it before my weight loss surgery because of my illnesses and, that I had and surgeries that I had prior to my vertical sleep hysterectomy. So I was already to the point where you could see a lot of scalp and I looked pretty awful, um, in my opinion. And um, after the vertical sleeve, it got worse. And you could see scalp, which right now, you know, don't. it's come back pretty well. Um, the hairdresser that just did my hair a couple weeks ago, the uh, first time I had a hairdresser really do my hair in years, um, was commenting that my hair was coming back, like, uh, down. You know, it's kind of downy in a lot of places. But at least it's covering up a lot of the scalp that used to be there you know I, I don't think you can really tell the down so much in a video situation like this but clearly my hair is nothing like it was uh, I mean I, I look like I was going bald um, with mine so it's kind of a scary prospect and for me um, it just um, I didn't like the way I looked didn't want to go there so I didn't um, so I had not done a video on hair loss before because that would just be a um, little disingenuous of me sitting there with a wig talking about hair loss when I was not a willing to take off my wig and admit to the world that I wore one. Um, didn't want family, friends to know, that kind of thing. So anyway, I just want to show you what um, I, I, I get a, a wig. Uh, there's a wig shop locally or kind of locally where I get wigs and here's one of them uh, from this last year's model that I had for a while so if you remember some of my videos in red hair this is what I was wearing um, goes on real easy like that and then you just play with it until you get the look that you like I like I like this style because you can you know whatever I, I, I always try to channel Jennifer Lawrence um, <laughs> not gonna do it without a lot of uh, messing with it um, here, but anyway, when you saw me before, you saw the wig, me and the wig. Okay, so there's the redhead model. Then this year, uh, for my birthday, uh, this past March, I went blonde. My husband is really digging this, and he helped me pick it out. He always goes with me, by the way, pick out the wigs, because I always feel like, you know, what he's doing is, I'm always curious to see what woman he'd like to be with next. So... Um, he usually has 80% uh, of the say on these, you know, which I'm happy because that he does. It's not like, uh, believe me, trust me, if I wanted something different, I'd do it. Um, but he has 80% of the say initially because he's the one who will be looking at me and he's the one who gets so excited. It's like a kid on Christmas. So this is what it looks like um, with the blonde wig. And they're just fun, you know? Um, so if you are really stressing out over all your hair loss, I would just say, go go to a wig shop. Just try them on, see what you think. If it brings you a smile and makes you feel really good about yourself, go for it. Um, $190, $210, yeah, that's a little steep, but 
if you get your hair cut and colored anyway, I don't know what you pay where you are. Uh, for me, that's $90 to $120, depending on where I go. Um, and it can go up from there, from what I'm understanding that people pay. Um, look, you, you buy this wig, I buy them every year. You don't have to. You can make it last for five years if you want. Um, it's a lot cheaper. It's a lot. You know, so you can justify it for that reason. And then you can, you two can do what I did, just, you know, put it on. Uh, like, I would get in the shower. I wouldn't even bother drying my hair. I would just get out of the shower, put it on over it, and run. You know, go to work. Done. Um, add a little bit of lipstick, and you can look fabulous. So, um, anyway. So, there you go. Uh, true confessions of a wig wearer. Um, and I'm happy to report 14 months out. Finally, my hair isn't coming out in huge clumps, although... And normally if I do that, um, I get several hairs coming out, just a few right now. But there's always, I always have a little hairs coming out. And my hairdresser does say, did say a couple weeks ago that uh, it looked like a little uh, down, you know, for a baby bird um, is what's coming back in a lot of time. It's just a real, real fine, real, uh, I don't know. Um, fine. I just still say fine, then whatever. But um, at least now I can not feel completely ashamed or apologetic or, um, you know, say, dang it, <laughs> excuse me, um, I hate this hair loss thing. Whatever. I just didn't even give a second thought. I just put on the wig and went on my way and didn't stress about it. So boy, was it worth it for me. Just wanted to throw that out there because I hadn't seen anyone else admitting up, uh, ad admitting and owning up to wearing the wigs, but I now have. So listen, take care. I want to, by the way, I am blown away by all the new subscribers, even though I didn't do um, a video for like six months. So thank you. That's so awesome. Uh, people are, are still subscribing, even though uh, I've been off the scene for a while. Thank you for your faith um, that I would actually come back and maybe do follow-ups. Uh, that's awesome. So um, that's it for now, the hair topic. And you take care. You have a wonderful week. And let me know if you have any questions. Bye-bye.